Hi, I want to talk a little bit about weight loss, especially in terms of keeping fit, keeping yourself trimmed, uh, and what you tend to do or is manage what you eat, which is great, and then probably do a bit of cardio as well, just to burn a bit of calories, lose a bit of weight, get trimmer, get fitter, which is all good. But in doing that, we lose the focus on one thing, which is the importance of lifting the importance of strength training and I want to talk about that briefly today why is that key why should that never be neglected never no matter what your fitness journey is you cannot afford to neglect or to abandon <laughs> lifting altogether now lifting primarily focuses on your muscles so it's about muscle growth and, and you probably be wondering what's the what is the importance of muscle growth if I'm intending to lose weight to get trimmer to get fitter. Over the age of 30, once we get over the age of 30, we start losing 1% of our muscles every 10 years. That means without doing anything, you just lose muscle mass. And that's why um, in the older age, people do tend to get a bit haggard. Lifting is quite key. It's something that we have to incorporate into our training. So whatever your aim might be in terms of your fitness, strength training is quite key. What I want to do is give us six reasons why you need to lift. But before I go into that, let me put in a caveat here. I'm not talking about lifting heavy weights in the gym and becoming bulky, becoming muscular. That's not my aim at all. It's all about maintaining muscle mass. Your muscles will deplete over time. It makes you get weaker, lose strength. <laughs> There's no point being trim and not be strong enough to do those things that you ordinarily should do. And that's why your muscle mass is quite key. If you want to bulk up, that's a different story altogether. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about maintaining your muscle mass. Let's get into them. Number one, if you want strong bones, maintain your muscle mass. <laughs> By lifting by incorporating a bit of strength training you're strengthening your bones as well so imagine not having strong bones the fragility that comes with that there's always a risk of increased injury if you don't have strong enough bones and one of the ways to do that is to incorporate strength training into your, your fitness journey strength training so that's number one enhance strong bones Number two, you want to maintain a healthy weight. With cardio, you burn X amount of calories. Once you finish doing your activity, whatever you might be doing, maybe treadmill for instance, um, once you finish on the treadmill, the calorie burning stops. However, with weight training, minutes, sometimes hours after you finish your training, you're still burning calories. And that's a main and crucial difference between lifting and cardio. Cardio, stop burning energy. Once the activity stops, with lifting, energy keeps burning, losing weight way after you finish your lifting. So to maintain calorie deficit or to continue to maintain a good body weight, you would ideally want to lift. Number three, it helps you with your balance. If you're off balance for whatever reason, you have enough strength, muscles to protect you, to save you from having some serious injuries. So but to help you with your balance, to help you with your overall body composition, um, and to prevent you from getting injured if you do get off balance. So balance is the key word here. You need to enhance your muscle growth and like i've always said to enhance your muscle growth strength training is quite key so that's number three number four overall it helps with improving your quality of life anything that makes you stronger gives you a better quality of life it's just logical isn't it if you do anything that enhances your strength because you can do more you could lift more uh, you have more power you have more strength your um, agility will increase you're just overall better it improves it improves massively your overall quality of life i, I don't i can't just fathom any reason why you wouldn't want to lift 
Number five, as we get older, there's a tendency that we would have chronic diseases, um, diabetes, probably cancer, chronic fatigue. One way to prevent that from happening in the first place is to lift. It, it just helps. It just helps your health overall. Um, you just feel better. Your health is much better. The chances of you getting any of those diseases reduces, even if it's a little bit, at least it reduces. So lifting is not something that you just do for the sake of it, it's not just to bulk up or to show off that you've got muscles. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's, not, it's, it's a lot more than that. It is for your health as well. And finally, number six, it's been proven by those who know better that if you incorporate lifting into your fitness journey, it helps with your brain and functionality, it helps with your memory. So it's not just um, a body function, it helps with your mind as well. Your reasoning, your thinking, um, being logical in things that you do, um, this helps if you incorporate strength training into your fitness journey. So going back to how I started this, Cardio is great. I do a lot of running. I, I, I love cardio. I, I do hit. I'm now into spinning. But that does not negate um, lifting. And finally, let me just say this. I've said it before. It's not about building muscles. Um, that's great if you want to do that. Uh, especially because you're going to be losing muscles anyway. Over the age of um, 30, you might as well start a little bit of strength training. You don't actually need to use weights per se. You could use your body, um, just your body weight for strength training and the results will definitely come. Hope that helps somebody. Remember, 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 it's your fitness. Take care of yourself.